this beautiful little thing. This is a grafted babayco and it's only a metre tall and it's covered in fruit. So these are not quite ready yet. They'll actually ripen to a really beautiful pale yellow when they're ready, ready to eat. And they're called the champagne fruit because they have quite an effervescence, bubbly texture to them. They're really delicious. If you live in Victoria and you really love the idea of growing pawpaws, which are not well suited to your climate, this is a great alternative. So it's quite different to a pawpaw, but it does grow in those cooler climates much better than a pawpaw does. And as you can see, it also does really well in the subtropics. So the reason we graft these is babacos have a tendency to having root rot problems and that's because they require perfect drainage. So if you're planning on growing a babaco, the most important thing that you need to provide your tree with is a really well drained site. So if necessary, it's a good idea to mound your planting site and add lots of organic matter so that that site drains really well. Grafted babacos can help a little a little with that stability and that problem, but in general, make sure you've got excellent drainage in order to grow a babaco well.